at the time that she pled guilty, she accepted responsibility for the fact that the injuries in this case did rise to the level of great bodily injury. A woman convicted and sentenced for crashing into an Albuquerque aviation officer was back in court today. Michelle Rivera admitted to being drunk and rear-ending officer Robert Dilley in 2014. Police say her blood alcohol level was more than twice the legal limit, and that crash is still a nightmare for Dilly. He thought the case against Michelle Rivera was over until he got a call last night about a hearing today. Action 7 News reporter Sasha Leninger found out Rivera's attorney was trying to knock some time off of her sentence. I lost everything because of this wreck. I, I was devastated. Aviation officer Bobby Dilly almost died last year after Michelle Rivera slammed into his car, leaving behind this horrific scene. Rivera pleaded guilty to driving drunk and causing the wreck. Today, her attorney was in court arguing for a reduced sentence. Typically, if someone is looking at their, their life as ending or they have life ending uh, complications from something, um, they're not cleared for full duty to go back. And it's my understanding uh, that the officer, um, and good for him, is, is back in duty and working. The attorney wanted the judge to reconsider the violent, serious offense. But Officer Dilly says this crash changed his life. I didn't just lose my toes, I lost half of my foot. Daily I have, every second my foot's hurting. Getting up out of bed is hard. Um, I don't sleep well because constantly throughout the day because my neck is, is wired together. He has nightmares, back cramps and pain in the hand that was crushed during that crash. But those injuries aren't stopping him. I can't and I won't feel sorry for myself. Because it's counterproductive, so I'm going to move forward. I'm going to keep on working, and if somebody needs me, I'm going to be there. He plans to work as an aviation police officer for as long as he can. Sasha Leninger, KOAT, Action 7 News. The judge decided not to let Rivera out of jail early. She'll continue to serve her three year sentence. As for Officer Dilly, he says the wreck has left him with tons of medical bills. Now he's picking up extra shifts to try and get by. Around 7